back here, Blades LLC say, come over here, look at this. We hit 200 hours. I figured, hey, after 200 hours, what the heck, let's do a review. So here we are, this is the Toro Grandstand 52. We've got the Kawasaki FX 691V on here. Phenomenal motor, absolutely love it. Zero issues so far. All we've had to do is change the oil and the air filter because this thing gets used heavily. We use it for cleanups, you know, we use it for uh, dethatching. Obviously, you got the, the dethatcher. Out oh, right here, we got the winch on there. That's what that's all about. And uh, yeah, we got, if you want to come around to the other side here, through a Matador shoot guard on here. I think this guy is. I don't know, somewhere local to me up here, Minnesota. Pretty sure. Anyways, kind of works pretty slick. Ran with a, well, got the, got the hydraulic hole. I won't go into detail on that, that's for another video, but that's what's on here for extras right now. Otherwise, you know, it's just, it is what it is. Uh, we got the, uh, so this is the Turbo Force deck here can make some adjustments um, for you know wet heavy grass or light you know dry grass um, it's designed for you know making the lines nicer what it does is it just it just uh, pinches this off so if I set this to the dry grass it makes this you know tip in like this so loosen it up oh she's stuck right now anyways not gonna do that right now, but this is designed, yeah, so when it's dry, this comes in, the velocity gets greater coming through here, and it uh, really helps pull that dry, wispy grass up, that those fescues and stuff. Um, really nice, I do like it. Every once in a while, I play around with it, but otherwise, I mostly just leave this open, so. Um, I will insert a little under the deck video. Um, I'm not a big fan of the deck underneath the deck here it has just a ton of bolts sticking through it and I, I feel like on other mowers that we've had there's not been that much uh, under there it just makes for scraping the deck really difficult I um, use a pressure washer a lot to get underneath it and stuff so I'm not a huge fan of the underside of this Toro deck uh, it's got a lot of a lot more bolts under it than uh, I remember there being under my X mark. I could be wrong. I had an X mark radius. Seemed to have a lot less stuff underneath it for whatever reason. This whole piece moves. This is part of the new Turbo Force uh, deck design. You have the uh, bagging system for this machine. The, the Toro, it, it, it blows up. It's got the power flow. It blows up and into the side. It's on here. Um, I'll try to get a picture of that for you. And uh, that I don't feel like Toro did a very good job on. I think the, uh, well, the bagger catches on stuff and it sticks way out and it does not slope up. The, I mean, it's right down next to the ground. And oftentimes when you're trying to get good enough suction to suck things up, uh, what happens is you're running the deck really low to the ground anyways, you know, two, two and a half inches somewhere right in there. And it just, it just ends up catching on the ground and I feel like the suction is just terrible. It, it blows more out the side uh, than it sucks up and it uh, we've tried just about every kind of blade underneath it. So we tried gator blades, high lifter blades, the low lift blades, you know, the regular ones. But, uh, I just cannot seem to uh, find a blade that works for this. So. It, it does cut really nice though. Um, we'll show you some footage of that. We'll jump on it and get the drone up in there and you can see how it cuts. It cuts really nice.
it has a ground speed of like 10 miles an hour. The ground speed's 10 miles an hour, so it gets around nice for uh, larger and smaller properties. I would say um, the right place for the Toro Grandstand would be, uh, you know, anything, really. It works everywhere. Um, if you're running around doing smaller residential yards, I'd say go with like the 52 and they do make that in a 60 as well. So if you're doing more larger things like this, I'd say a 60 inch deck would be worth it, but 52 can't go wrong. That's a good size for everything pretty much. And uh, yeah, been super impressed with it. So um, let's, let's get to flying here. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you guys loved the Toro Grandstand 52. Thing is a beast. Would I recommend it? Absolutely. It's great for cutting. Um, I've used it as a, my single mower for uh, about a half of a year now uh, through cleanup season, spring cleanup season, and uh, yeah, it's been it's been really good to me. So absolutely would recommend it. Um, if you guys are in the market for a stand on mower, be sure to check out the Toro Grandstand. I think you guys will really appreciate it and what it has to offer. If you guys haven't yet, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll let me know what you guys think of the Toro Grandstands. If you have any, um, let me know what you have for issues with them, uh, things that I maybe will run into, um, coming up here. I think... I don't know, I think we're about due to do the um, hydraulic oil, the hydros. So we'll probably be changing the hydro fluid shortly here, but thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. God bless, take care, stay safe. Bye-bye now.